Austin, sending my prayers to you right now, and I know God is with you during this time. For the little time I've known you, I can tell you have the heart of a lion, and you know, you're an inspiration for all, so continue to get past these hurdles, man, and you're going to make it up on top. I got nothing but faith in you, and hope to see you soon, man, and sending my love to you and Riley. What's up, Austin? It's Tim, 23 years old, from Stuttgart, Germany, and um, I hate doing this video right now, man. Like, I'd rather have you out there winning races right now than doing this video. But as you know, we all can't change it and we can only be there for you. And um, I just wanted to let you know that you've been a huge role model to me, to me and many other people out there. Um, I had to deal with some injuries myself over the past few years and um, I always looked up to you for never giving up. Like you never ever gave up. And um, that's what built you, man. And um, we know you can and you will fight through this and we can't wait to see you out there winning races again. We got you, man. Hi Austin, it's Julie from Oklahoma and I wanted to say you're probably one of the toughest guys I've ever met. Um, I'm so proud of you. You've had so many obstacles thrown your way, but you overcome them. You work harder, you push harder, you grind harder, and we all notice it. And um, I believe in you, I know you can do it, and I can't wait to see you back out there and let's go! Hey Austin, it's Bobby Cat from 38 Special here. Buddy, I heard you had a bad break. I hope you uh, feel better. I hope you get through this. Anyway, keep fighting the fight, buddy. We rooting for you. See you, man. Hi Austin, my name is Dan, and this is my son, Hi. Austin. As yeah. well. That's right, and he is your absolute favorite racer. Mine too. And he drew something for you he wanted to share. So that's you, and, I, and it says get well soon from Austin. It's green. And it has you on your bike on going off a jump. <laughs> we just know that uh, you're going to heal. You know what it's like to face long odds sometimes. This kid right here, he was a micro creamy. He was only a pound he was born, and he is a miracle miracle. And um, the same thing will be delivered to you. And we can't wait to see you ride again. And uh, our best to your Hope family. Hope you get well soon. That's right. And maybe have a play date with Austin sometime and go riding. After you get back. Right. Hi, Austin. My name is Joe Fuccia. I'm from the Albany, New York area, and I wanted to make a short video. This was sponsored by All Fun Brand, your merchandise they are putting this on. So shout out to them for giving the fans and other people opportunities to connect. I wanted to share some kind words, such as, this is a bump in the road, you will get past this. You'll be strong, I know you're a strong guy. Um, I think you'll get through this and you'll come back strong and you'll do well. Also, I wanted to say that I have met you a couple of times at the races and I wanted to share that you were very nice to me and my dad. Like we got stuff signed and like you took pictures with us and thank you so much for being Austin and thank you so much for being a good person. We appreciate your hard work. Thank you so much, Austin. I hope you feel better soon. Hi, I'm Hallie and we love watching you race. We hope you get better soon. Hey Austin, you probably have no idea who I am from from my face, but um I'm in your co Instagram comment sections quite a lot. Um, uh, I've sat here and restarted this video over and over again, and I've tried, tried, tried. Um, I've tried this a few weeks ago, and uh, I've stuttered and all of that. But it, that's besides the point. It sucks to see you go down. Uh, um, I was did I was in a one last year when you went down. I sucked to see as well, and you came back and you won the tweet. That was really inspiring. You've inspired me since I was a dang like nine years old um in like 2015 um yeah i've been a fan for so long i have your, your posters on my wall uh, i really do i look up to you every single day it's really really cool what you do um um i'll be in here i'll keep i'll keep supporting you i know i will and uh i hope you guys are doing all right your family friends all of it um, it sucks to see you go down. You'll be in my prayers. You'll be in everyone else's prayers. I've never seen so much support for you ever. And that's really cool. Um, yo, yo, what's going on, Austin? It's your boy here, 
just wanted to uh, reach out and give you a few words of encouragement um, to help with the mental healing and while your body is physically recovering. Um, obviously, this isn't our first rodeo, and nor will it probably be our last, but I know this one hit differently for you. So, in tough times, um, I want to share a quote that I always kind of remind myself with is, uh, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. Um, you know, with that being said, I don't want you to beat yourself up and ask you why this happened. I actually know why and I have a clue, but uh, I'm certain that, that God uh, gives the toughest tasks, the toughest challenges to his toughest soldiers. And I know you're a soldier at heart, day in, day out. Um, you know, your will to succeed is strong as fuck. You're mentally strong as fuck. Your skills are strong as fuck. It's in your name, it's in your DNA. AF, that's what you are, that's who you are. Um, you're a fighter at the core of everything. Pull everything back, that's who you are. You will succeed in anything and everything that you do. So whatever you choose to do, whatever your next chapter, whatever your decision is, I respect it, I appreciate it, I love you, and I will support you 100% through the process. So. Anything you need, give me a holler. You know how to get a hold of your boy. Um, but just know that you don't have to do this alone. You have a great squad behind you. You got your entire team. And uh, I will always have your back through thick and thin, through all walks of life. So um, just keep your head up, be diligent, um, and most importantly, always have the attitude of gratitude. All right? So you got this, we got you. And uh, stay blessed. Love you, brother. Hey, what's happening, Austin, man? Jeff here with 3 and one MX Moto Ministries. Listen, I just wanted to encourage you real quick, man. There's a scripture that has been pressed on my heart for you. And it says this. It says in 2 Corinthians 4, We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. We're perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Man, I pray that God is renewing you day by day. Even through this injury, I know that God has a plan for you. Listen, I don't know what the future holds, but I know who holds the future. And we put our trust in Jesus, man. I believe the best is yet to come for you, buddy. Keep your eyes on Jesus and uh, pray for the best, man. God bless you, buddy. Austin, I wish you a speedy recovery. Heal up, take it day by day, keep your head up, you'll come back and get a championship, all right, bro? You got this. Austin, man, get well soon. You're an inspiration to everyone, man. We're all pulling for you. What's up, Austin? Dino here. Just thinking of you, sending you positive vibes. That was a really tough one to watch. I was, uh, I was in the tunnel. Uh, and staging, watching the TV screen. And uh, yeah, that crash happened and damn it, broke my heart watching that. I was uh, I was uh, pumped to see you make the comeback that you did from everything that you've been through and more as we know that you've uh, <clears throat> went through a little bit extra and to come back and then have the red plate right away inspiring to watch it's always cool to see someone come through something like that you know through adversity and uh i've been through a lot of what you you're going through right now in my career went to the quit many times and i know how much this one's gonna sting it stings for me but um all i'm gonna say is uh just chill out relax keep positive and uh Everything will happen the way it's supposed to happen. Wish you the best, mate. Cheers. Thanks. We love you. We brought your friend.
just always on your side and in your corner. I'll come visit as soon as I can too. And we should go to Cabo. Mm -hmm. But we're proud of you. And make sure to be yourself and make your heart of yourself. Positivity as always. Peace and love. Okay. Love you. Hey, Austin Riley. This is Brandon and Madison. Uh, we're wishing you the best. You know, a year ago I went through multiple injuries that technically ended my racing career and. Um, if you need ever somebody to ever talk to about some of your problems, I'll be here for you. Wishing you guys a speedy recovery. Love you guys. Oh, Austin. I will never forget how mad I was when Kyle came home three hours late when he was supposed to buy a gun. Little did I know about the two people who were about to step into our lives. You and Riley are two of the kindest people that I know. Getting to listen to your story, your fight, your grit, your endless determination and continuously seeking God's plan <laughs> is nothing short of remarkable. We love you and will forever be your biggest fans from Oklahoma. Never forget that, n that nothing can stop a warrior. I can just hear your buddy Kyle say, man, that kid can send it. And send it you will in every aspect of your life. We wish you all good things and heal up my dude and much love from the whites. Say get well soon. Get well soon. Hey man, I was trying to record a video saying so much many things that it takes so, so minutes and like two or three minutes but I think it's gonna be a shorter time. But man, all I can say is that from Mexico you have all my all my support, all my hopes to so you can get better soon and keep riding that 64 number that I really love, man. Come on, man, you can do this. You're stronger than you think. Okay, hopefully Knox actually pays attention for this. But Austin, Riley, we've been thinking about you guys a lot. Um, we just want to say you are two of the strongest people we know. Um, and it's like super inspiring to see you guys continue to kind of work through some really, really hard things. Um, so I just want to say, thinking about you, you inspire us. Yep, I hope you continue uh, along the road to recovery <laughs> and heal up and come back stronger and better than ever. <laughs> love you guys. Love you guys. Say love you. Hey Austin, it's Grandpa Everett. I just want you to know that I'm your biggest fan and supporter. You have been blessed with great talent and determination. Your God-fearing faith will carry you through this situation and guide you forward. I believe in you. Go get it. Say we love you. We love you. Say we love you, Austin. We love Austin. All right, buddy. We love you. We love you, know, you so much. You deserved a lot better than what happened, but I don't remember yet. I love you. <laughs> we love you and we support you. Say woohoo! Woo -hoo! Austin, you are uh, you're a true inspiration to all of us. You get dealt all of these crazy hands, and you just keep plugging along. You keep your chin up and you keep handling your business. And so I admire you for that. I love you for that. Family loves you for it. Fans love you for it. Everybody loves you for your mentality and your tenacity and everything you do, whether you're riding or whether you're rehabbing or just tackling life. And so just keep doing it, man. Hey Austin, I'm Wyatt from Utah. And uh, just glad to see that you're okay and uh, I get it, man. After crashing like that, obviously I've never, I've never crashed as hard as that, but you definitely taken the hits, but you've never given up, and that's why everyone's a good fan of yours, because no matter what happens, you come back strong, and you're willing to put in that effort, so I've been a fan ever since you were a rookie for Supercross, and uh, I haven't given up, so... Just keep going, and uh, I believe in you. What's up, Faulkner dude? Gnarly crash. I'd say walk it off, but you already did that. It shows how tough you are. You're a championship dude, and you'll be back in no time. 
Love you, dude. Wishing the best for you. Hope to see you soon. Let's win a championship, dog. Peace. Hey, Austin, this is Colton Dunhoff from Northern Kentucky, man. Just wanted to jump on here and say, uh, all your true fans, man, we got your back. Uh, what you've overcame so far in your career and um, what, you, what you've done with your life up until this point is, has been incredible. Um, uh, your, your perseverance, your, your ability to overcome these injuries and setbacks and your mental strength is just something that uh, not a lot of people are uh, blessed with to be able to handle. And what you're doing is incredibly motivating and we can't wait to see you uh, make a return regardless of the fashion. Uh, we'll, we'll have your back, man. And it's uh, truly a blessing to see what, what God's got in store for you and look forward to uh, seeing what's next for you, man. Austin, my dog, it's Matt, Layla, and Addie. Man, we just wanted to let you know that um, you're truly an inspiration to us. Uh, me and Layla can see you and Riley as, you know, family. So when you're down and out, we're down and out. We just want to let you know that we're thinking about you. I'm just one call away, man. I'll answer the phone and say, talk to me whenever you want, man. So. I just want to let you know that you are the toughest dude that I know, that Layla knows, that Addie knows, and you've proved that to everybody. Um, so we love you, man. We miss you. And come see us, or we're going to come see you soon, regardless. But we love you, and keep your head up, bro. Hey, Austin, it's your dad and Julie. Just uh, want to say how proud we are of you, and how much fun it is to watch you race and to watch you compete. And we know that you'll be back out there soon, doing what you love, doing what you're really good at, and couldn't be more proud of you. Hello, this is one and only Cam, and I hope you um, get better, and I hope you get back out riding and ripping everything up. Hi, Austin, it's Jerry and Jen. Just wanted to say hi and let you know that we're thinking of you, and can't wait to see you back on the bike, and I really hope the healing process is going smooth, and we love you. And you're always number one in our heart. Hey, Austin, it's your mom. I'm sending you lots of love and words of encouragement. Um, this road you've been on, this journey of life, it's um, been a little bit hard for you, but you're such a strong and incredible young man, and I'm so, so proud to be your mom. And I love you so, so much. And when life throws a curveball at me, I often um, read my favorite scripture, which is Joshua 1, 9. And um, it's, um, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And I truly believe the Lord is with you every single minute of every single hour of every single day. So take him with you and everything will be okay. I love you. Bye. We love you. And we hope you get better Can you come down sometime. Hey, hey, sis. Hi. Uh, you're, we're always your number one fan. Keep your head up. We love you. Say hi, hey. Okay. <laughs> Love you like a fat kid, love cake. Hey Austin, uh, sorry to see what happened to you. You're an absolute animal. I love watching you ride. Hope to see you back again soon. Uh, but if you decide to move on, I don't think anyone would, uh, would, would judge you after everything you've been through. You've been through the ringer, and uh, we all hope that you just uh, recover and do what's best for, uh, for you. So cheers and hope to see you riding again soon. Yo, what's up Austin? It's official Chicken Joe. <laughs> And I'm from Lancaster, California. Dude, that fall was gnarly. Me and my dad were so gutted to see that. Like, we were so bummed, our heads in our hands. It, it was gnarly, dude. Like, you're a tough guy, and they made you walk to the Rhino after that. Like, I, w I was so excited to see you, like, in the heat race, the speed that you had, and you know, through the whoops and all that, I was, I was so excited to see what you could do. So it just kills me to see that. Like, I know how hard you work for it. I've talked to you, you know, you're just, you're a good dude. You deserve it. Before I let you go, I wanted to show you my bike. 
It's a little wild. Fur on the bar pad, Dave saw chicken stickers, rubber chicken graphics, and it's a, it's a 300 two stroke. But yeah, dude, you got this. Keep your head up. I know you're gonna prove everybody wrong. Well, all the haters wrong. Okay, you got this. Even the chicken said so too, okay, dude? Keep your head up. That was a scary one. I'm glad you're here. We're all glad you're here. No matter what direction, your story isn't over. Hey Austin, uh, this is Brandon Booth from uh, West Virginia. I just want to get on here and say that I hope your recovery is coming along as smoothly as it possibly can. Uh, my thoughts and prayers have been with you uh, every single day. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm a huge fan of yours, long time fan. Um, we're close in age, I'm 24, I believe you're 25. Um, I've looked up to you ever since I was a little boy. You've been very, very incredible on the bike and off the bike. Uh, you've grown into a, a very strong and inspiring young man. Uh, you've accomplished so much. Um, I've looked up to you a lot and uh, I'm very, very proud of you. And I want you to know that. And there's many people out there that's proud of you and that look up to you, man. And uh, you've always been a badass on a dirt bike and you're a badass off the bike. And uh, I know you put your heart and soul in everything that you go to do. And the reason I know that is because it shows. <clears throat> and uh, I hope the very best for you moving forward. I'll always support you 100%. And if you ever need anything, you know that there's a brand in West Virginia that is here for you. Um, but yeah, man, I hope recovery's going good and I hope to see you soon. Hopefully on the track, um, but I know Gas is putting this together. He's a great guy, but yeah, man, uh, prayers for you and your family for a smooth recovery, and uh, yeah, man, I hope to see you soon. Peace. Hey, Austin, the whole Howell family is rooting for you and wishing you a speedy recovery. Yeah, you're a bad dude. Even with a broken back and a broken shoulder blade, I wouldn't want to race you. Kick my ass. <laughs> get well soon. Yeah, get well, man. Hey Austin, it's Nick from Bay Area, California. You may know me on Instagram as Nick18Racing. I just wanted to give you my best thoughts. Um, we're all thinking of you right now. This is a pretty difficult time, but I'm glad that you're surrounded by great people, such as Riley, your trainer, Rhino, your family. I just want to know that want you to know that we all have your back. We're all here for you. We love the talent that you have, the determination that you have. That's what drew me in as a fan. Seeing you persevere in 2019, try to keep going to finish that season was incredible. And in 2020, I was lucky enough to get a picture with you, meet you and talk to you. And you were super nice and easy going. And that's just the person you've always been. I've really respected you as a writer. And what happened this past weekend was very hard to describe and I just want you to know that we all have your back and as to the signs from God you know I'm Christian as well I, I have belief and I just want you to know that whatever decision you make you will have support and we all watch that sport and know how much is on the line and seeing what we saw the last year is difficult so I wish you guys the best I hope that you continue to get better and feel better I just want you to know that we are all thinking of you and that we hope that the recovery process is quick we're in your circle AF all fun how's it going man uh, my name is Ryan Souza I'm from uh, Chapachet, Rhode Island. Um, just, you know, I, I understand how it feels. Um, I've grown up racing my whole life. I have my son racing now. Um, I actually, I know how it feels to be down and feel like you can't get ahead and, you know, just feel like it's just one thing after another. Uh, back, 2013 I believe it was um, I was at a Loretta Lynn qualifier 
Um, uh, I mean, I had the speed to at least make it to the ranch. Um, I had crashed in practice. I <clears throat> broke my back. I broke my, my T8. Um, I was knocked out for the same as you, like five to six minutes. Um, luckily, I ended up having the surgery and was able to, thank God, be able to walk and everything again. When, um, when I broke it, how you broke, how you broke, you were saying you broke the tabs. Um, I broke my actual spinal column and uh, they cut a piece of my hip out, fused it into my back. Um, I had like, they said I had like three inches of my spinal cord exposed and stuff. So needless to say, I feel very lucky. And uh, yeah, I remember having the same thing. Like, don't know if I wanted to ride anymore. It was like, what am I doing? I mean, I, I was a little bit of a different situation than you. It wasn't my livelihood, but it's, it's the passion I have. So long story short, a year went by and I, had gotten the rods taken out of my back and did all that because they had told me I wasn't ever going to be able to ride again if I kept the rods in my back because I would have been so rigid. So uh, I had the rods taken out and then before you know it, I started riding again and racing and whatnot. And, uh, and then I had my son and now he, you know, you know how it is. He wants to do what dad does and yeah, so He's racing and stuff now, and hopefully, hopefully he gets down to Loretta's this year. I mean, he was, we just got back from Florida. He was showing a lot of really good speed and everything, so that'd be cool. Um, but on the flip side of everything, uh, I've, like I said, I had that issue happen back in 13, and I've been relatively good since then. I mean, I've had some, like a broken wrist and broken collarbone and things in between. But uh, here's where the story gets a little wild is Labor Day weekend this past year, um, my wife and I, it was our wedding and uh, it was at a motocross track up in Maine, Heeman's Motocross. I'm like good friends with the owners and stuff. They have a barn, so we were doing our wedding there. Um, we were supposed to get married on Saturday and then everyone was gonna ride on Sunday. So I got there, we got there early to set things up and everything, and Thursday came, and me and my son, my wife, and a few other friends that were up there all wanted to ride. So we rode Thursday. Um, I was gonna be all done for the day, and I put my bike on the stand, and one of my friends asked me if I wanted to take his, two, his 252 stroke for a ride. And so I was like, yeah, like, whatever. So I take it and I like the I had the choke on. I stopped on this tabletop, shut the choke off, warrant like cleared it out and uh Yeah, I mean I'm not I'm not a squid. <laughs> um I, I mean I raced the expert class back at home and I mean I you know I, I Qualified last year for Loretta's and the 30 plus so like I, I mean, I'm not a squid. I know how to ride um, It was like this double double section and I uh, hit the first one and when I landed I like rolled into it and the bike shut off I landed it goes bowl and it Shut off so on Thursday. I'm supposed to get married on Saturday I crash on Thursday um Apparently, I was knocked out for my wife and my dad and my mom told me for 26 minutes, um, which thankfully I can even make this video right now with that. Um, the hardest thing about, one of the hardest things about it for me, I mean, I didn't, how you said, you got to watch a video back and stuff and it was a lot scarier after you watch it. Thank God I didn't have it on video or anything but um once i was in the hospital and stuff um they told me i had to go in for surgery because i dislocated my hip i broke my pelvis and i broke my collarbone and i broke four ribs so nothing like 
almost ruining a wedding and uh, when I was in the hospital and got out of surgery and stuff, when my son came to see me, the hardest thing for me was hearing my son, um, hearing my son tell me that he, he was scared I was going to die because uh, he, was, he was riding with me and um, he saw me crash and he was right there and he almost ran me over and he got over to me and he had to watch me lay there for almost a half hour unconscious and you know and yeah so that, that, that was a hard one um, but all in all I mean <laughs> I ended up making it happen I had surgery on Friday um, got out of the hospital Saturday and walked down the aisle on Sunday. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty wild. Um, but in all of that, I, I I know how it feels saying like, you're not sure what, and I, like you said, it's the last thing you need to worry about and shouldn't be talking about, but I know how it feels um, to have all those thoughts and everything. As I said, it's different for me. It's not my livelihood, but um, it's what I love. And uh, yeah, so long story short, we uh, <laughs> all that happened. We got married, ended up making it all happen and stuff. Um, we just were in Florida. We're from Rhode Island. We were just in Florida two weeks ago. And like, I, obviously I brought my bike and did all that. And uh, I rode and uh, I, I don't know, it's, it, it's wild how, as you said, you, you, as your body heals, your mind heals and you begin to forget and stuff. And, uh, and it, it's, I got on the bike and it's like I never even crashed. Um, I don't know why it works that way, but uh, all in all, man, just hope you'll speedy recovery and uh, wish you nothing but the best. Um, been a fan of you since since you're on 80s. Uh, I mean, I've watched you through the Loretta stuff. I, wa I, wa I watch you grow up as an amateur and whatnot. Um, yeah, we, we all know you have an unlimited amount of talent and uh, it's just, it's heartbreaking seeing you get a bad deck of cards literally every single year. And, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer in Rhino and knowing that you were working with him, I, I truly, truly, truly felt like this was your year and nobody else's year. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, Wish you nothing but the best and a speedy recovery from uh, down here from in Rhode Island. Hi, Austin. We're all thinking of you and hope only the best for you to get better as soon as possible. Hey, Austin. Hope you're doing good, man. Um, heal up soon. Uh, you'll be shaking at 40 yards into the woods, of course, in no time. Hey, Austin. Thinking about you. We all know you're strong, so you got this. Hey, Austin. Uh, I've been thinking about you, honestly, ever since I saw your bike on the track um, in that section where you crashed, and we all knew it was pretty significant. Uh, I'm just grateful that you're somewhat okay and that uh, you're back home, and I hope you're healing up well. You've been in our prayers. Um, stay strong, man. You're a bad dude. Hey, Austin. How's it going? I was trying to think of some wonderful words of wisdom to um, share with you, but I just think you need to know that um, I think you're one of the bravest and coolest people in the world. Um, I just, I trust that you're gonna make great things happen in your life and um, I just wish you the best. I hope you know that um, I, I love you. I've known you since you were a little boy. Um, I've watched you grow up into a fine young man and um, I just always believe in you and you know, I just, I wish the best for you. God has a plan for you. Don't ever, ever forget that. Hey, Austin. Just wanted to wish you a speedy recovery. And remember, stay positive. And uh, remember also, you know, sometimes no answer is the answer. 
And uh, so you just got to just tear off that rear view mirror and keep on ripping, man. That's why the uh, windshield's a lot bigger than the rear view mirror. So keep fighting, stay positive, and get well soon. Hi, Austin. This is take like number 505. So I'm going to keep this one short and sweet, but I have a longer one that I'll send to you separately. But I just want to say how proud I am of you. And um, as much as I would like to keep you in bubble wrap, I know that your dreams are big and you should follow them. You know, if we listen to our heads, um, it'll tell us what we should do, but our hearts will lead us to what we could do and, and you're capable of doing so much. So uh, follow your heart and I'll keep you in my prayers and heal well and we love you. Austin, we just wanted to say we're so proud of you, and I know it's a hard time right now, but the decisions you make going forward are going to be the right ones, so we just wanted to say we'll always support you no matter what, and we love you. Yes, we do. When you needed it most and you cried, I was so glad.